How's it going YouTube? Peruvian Trucker back with another video. Clean and refreshed. There's something about getting a shower. And I'm not bilking this because of the last two videos. I just want to discuss showers as a trucker, so bear with me. Before I got into trucking and growing up throughout my entire life, I've always showered every day. And that's great. Even when I was in the car business, actually, uh, I got into this habit of showering twice a day because I like showering in the morning. Ever since I was a kid, morning showers are a thing. But you know, you shower, you go to work, and then working in the car business, I'll get dirty, I, I would sweat, etc. I would still wash my, my hands and, you know, keep clean, but but I, I, it's nice to get a shower after working on, after, or after work, after, but it's nice to get a shower after work and before going to sleep. So for the last five years of my life, before I got into trucking, two day showers, at least on weekdays, were a thing. But I feel like when you get into the trucking business, OTR, not local, OTR, I think there is, a, there is an understanding that a daily shower, well, first of all, it's, there's an understanding that a shower is a luxury because you live in the truck. And uh, that daily showers are not necessarily um, what's the word I'm looking for? Daily showers are not necessarily I got no words. <laughs> Daily showers are not necessary, especially on those days where you're just behind the wheel for 11 hours driving, you know, you do your pre-trip and you're good to go. You're not really getting dirty or sweating. Now, certainly you can shower every day if you want to, but again, that's, that's a personal decision. It's not a need out here in my opinion. With that being said, um, five to six days, four to four to five to six days in between showers is bordering the inexcusable when it comes to being clean. Period. But it happens, you know. Sometimes you get a tight load, or you just, you know, traffic. There's a lot of factors out on the road that may uh, keep you from getting to your destination in the in the time that you have. And you have to understand that that may happen. You know, when you have to when you come to this business, you have to be open to the possibility that at some point uh, you're not going you're not going to be able to shower when you would like to. So I'm at this client Jay right now and personally I prefer loves and when it comes to the, the places where I would shower uh, out here on the road it's only loves and pilot flying J for me TAs and Petros and random truck stops unless it's like I-80 or Kimley I don't really I don't really shower anywhere else uh, and I feel like Loves is the cleanest one they're all kind of the same but there's something about Loves it just it just seems cleaner I don't know if it's the, 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 that some of them are more modern or whatever but with Loves for some reason their employees tend to walk in on showering customers it happened to me and it happened to Scotty the trucker it's only happened once, thankfully, but it's happened. Where they just, I, I don't know, I don't know if there, it's a glitch on their showering uh, reservation system, but they will knock on the door or 
or just open it blatantly without checking if there's someone in. Uh, but other than that, it's fine. You know, you, you're, you're in, you're out. You're, you're there to do one thing. <laughs> um, but let me know in the comments, uh, what's your shower, what's your, sh your, your place of preference when it comes to showers? If you know of any like, like small truck stops that may have nice showers, uh, let me know. I'm, I'm always looking for, for new stuff. But that's not what you clicked on this video. So on the last video, on the last two videos, uh, I was on this load going from Kansas to New Jersey. And now I am in a load going from New Jersey to Kansas. <laughs> and I can't complain. I would, these two loads, the ones that I've had, I wouldn't mind doing these two loads, like just these two loads until I retire. You know, nice long stretches, you know, 700, 800 miles riding I-80 or I-70. A lot of downtime, you're still doing your job, you get to meditate, listen to good music. I like it. But over the last week, I've been noticing as I do my pre-trip that the truck has, the, has a little issue. I've been noticing that the, the brake linings on my front drive tires, sorry, my front drive wheels, I've been noticing that the brake linings have been wear, have been wearing unevenly in, compa in comparison to the rear drive wheels. Um, so I've been looking at them for the last couple days and I don't know, maybe my lack of experience when it comes to trucks, maybe this is a, something that's normal, but coming from the automotive background and working on brake rotors and brakes, well, on cars in general, just brakes, uh, brake drums, brake rotors. It doesn't seem like uh, this should be happening with my truck. And definitely not, not at 4,000 miles. So now uh, what's happening is, I, I don't know if, 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 if you do your pre-term, you probably know the brake lining is like a semicircle on the top and a semicircle on the bottom and the brake drum, you know, it's like a, it's a circle, you know, it's a drum. <laughs> but basically when it comes to the linings on my front drive wheels, the linings, like the edge of the linings is getting very thin. Uh, to the point where like within the next week or maybe two weeks, like the like the, the edge is going to be uh, it's going to be bare metal the, well, the brick so I'm gonna go ahead and post a video or a picture of how the brake linings on the rear drive wheels look and I'm gonna post a picture of how the front brake linings look right now. As you can see, the, the front brake linings are, are getting very thin on the edges and it seems to me, coming from my automotive background, that the brake linings, brake pads, whatever you want to call them, brake shoes, uh, that they have not been adjusted properly because they should be wearing evenly. But again, that's that's me coming from the automotive background. I would appreciate it if anybody that's watching uh, and knows maybe something that I don't, if you can tell me that this is normal wear for uh, truck brakes. And that's pretty much it. Once again, and as always, I want to thank everybody that's been watching this video. So I really appreciate it. Just, I mean, I'm beyond happy or excited uh, to have 
so many of you following and even commenting like I really appreciate the support and uh, before I let you guys go I just want to mention this one more time I haven't mentioned it in a while if you're looking uh, if you're if you're thinking about coming into prime or just thinking about getting your CDL and getting into trucking I made a pre-trip study guide that I post uh, on Quizlet Quizlet is this app that allows you to make study guides so I made a pre-trip study guide about a month ago and I've been posting the link in every single one of my videos on that description so if you're looking to get into trucking or to get your CDL uh, you can always get ahead uh, when it comes to studying your pre-trip and that link below on my description is a, a, I get a free study guide to get started on that so yeah and that's pretty much it I got uh, again I want to thank you guys for watching the videos and uh, following me in this journey and I'll catch you on the next one